weighing in at 800 kilograms, the European bison is the largest land mammal in Europe and the last surviving remnant of its Pleistocene megafauna. The European bison, sometimes referred to as the Wissens, used to have a wide and extensive range from Central Europe through to Eastern Europe into the Casp around the Caspian Sea and the Caucasus, and even potentially going as far east as Lake Baikal. Unlike its North American counterpart, which prefers the great open plains, the European bison prefers lightly forested areas with mixed grassland and light deciduous woodlands. Now, the European bison managed to survive on well into the historical era, being recorded by the ancient Greeks and the Romans. Its population seemed to be fairly stable until about 2,000 years ago, when it seemed to decline fairly rapidly as the human population in Europe started to expand. And by the 8th century, the European bison had disappeared from much of the continent. With one notable exception, the area around Poland. Now, in early moments of environmentalism, one of the kings of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, King Sigismund II Augustus, noticed that the population of the bison had been in dramatic decline and he established a nature reserve in what is now known as the Biolovisa Forest. Apologies if I butchered that. Sigismund II Augustus even instituted the death penalty for anybody that killed a bison within the boundaries of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. And it's here that they managed to survive and thrive up until the First World War. As the armies of the Kaiser and the Tsar marched their way across Poland, the bison provided an easy source of food for hungry soldiers and starving refugees. And the last surviving wild bison in Poland was killed in 1921. A fragmented remnant population in the Caucasus Mountains managed to survive up until 1927. And at that point, the bison was extinct in the wild leaving only a handful of examples surviving in zoos scattered across the continent. What about Britain's bison? Well, the fossilised remains that we have of bison within the British Isles are not actually from the Wissens. They're from the ancestral species of the Wissens, a creature known as the steppe bison. Now, the steppe bison used to run the cold grasslands of Europe, from Spain, the British Isles, rather across Central and Eastern Europe, all the way across Asia to China, and eastern Siberia, even crossing over to Alaska and mo moving down into the Great Plains of North America. And it's the fossils of this steppe bison that we find in places like Cresswell Crags and Retton. And this steppe bison is actually one of the most common Pleistocene megafauna fossils found anywhere across Eurasia and into northern North America. They've even found mummies of these animals, so we've been able to extract some of the DNA, most famously being Blue Babe, which was found in Alaska. Now, although the steppe bison seems to be ancestral to both the modern European bison and the North American bison, the relationship isn't quite as simple as parent to offspring. The genetics of bison and how they relate to other cattle is a little bit mixed. Now what appears to have happened is around about 120,000 years ago a male steppe bison mated with a female auroch. Auroch being the extinct ancestor of modern domesticated cattle throughout Eurasia. So over the generations this hybridised auroch bison DNA was largely whittled down but didn't entirely remove and you can still find this in the genetic material of the bison population. And this forms the modern day Wissens. Bison belongs to a group of animals known as the Bovinae, and the Bovinae seem to be very closely related, not just the European bison and the North American bison, but also modern domesticated cattle and the yak all seem to be very, very closely related, and the ability to create viable hybrids, at least viable female hybrids, seems to be quite easily done. And this close relationship is why 120,000 years ago we were able to have that hybridization event. During the last glacial maximum, the steppe bison were pushed out of the British Isles as the ice advanced from the north. The bison followed the steppe further south, and it appears that the, their descendant Wissant 
never actually made it to the British Isles after the ice retreated. For what reason? We're not quite sure. Maybe the British Isles became an island prior to the Wissing being able to migrate their way back over there. Highly likely considering other things like deer managed to make their way across to Britain. It's possible that because the Wissing prefers open woodland as opposed to vast open plains, that this environment didn't actually exist in Britain until after it became isolated and therefore the Wissant never really made the effort to migrate over to, to the British Isles. This means that actually we never had the species that is now the modern day European bison living in Britain, at least not as a wild population. And those recent fossils of the steppe bison within the British Isles come from around about 25,000 years ago at the height of the last glaciation. Now, this interesting side note to this relationship between the steppe bison and the Wissens has actually been noted in ancient cave art from Western Europe. In older cave systems, such as the Altamira Caves in northern Spain, which are thought to be around 36,000 years old, the cave art seems to show these rather large, robust bison with long horns. And when the steppe bison were more robust with longer horns than the modern European bison. However, when we find look at artwork in younger caves, like those at Luxor, which are about 17,000 years old, we actually see bison with much shorter horns. So it appears that the ancient people of Western Europe, in their wonderful artistic style of painting the animals and the landscapes around them within these caves, had inadvertently noticed this change from the long-horned steppe bison to the short-horned European, modern European bison. So jumping forwards to the 21st century, it's not all bad news for the European bison. Having dropped a few than 50 individuals at the beginning of the 20th century, there was this realization moment within the zoologists within Europe that this was a species that was about to go extinct. And so efforts were made to preserve the species using the remnant populations that survived within zoos. And currently, as of 2022, there is around about 7,500 European bison within the continent. Most of them can be found within the forests on the Polish-Belarusian border, but there are 19 countries across the continent that have populations of bison, either roaming wild or within protected nature reserves. And Britain is soon to be one of those. It had been approved for a bison nature reserve to be established at some point within this year, within 2022, down in Kent and an area comprising about 150 hectares of, of like woodland and meadow has been fenced off to have a small herd of bison introduced. So, for the first time in 25,000 years, Britain will have bison. <laughs>